win a medal inside a stadium. That medal should be presented there. No, in the uh, AAF World Championships in Berlin in 2009 for the walk to the marathon, they had a special uh, flower ceremony underneath the uh, Brandenburg Gate where the finish line was, where they congregated thousands inside a mini stadium and then had the medal ceremony inside the stadium that evening by the famous Marathon Gate, built especially for the 1936 Olympic Games. I think it's good to have the ceremonies in the uh, where you want them and uh, get the applause of the crowd. That stadium, I should point out, was full most evenings to a capacity of 75,000. One thing that strikes me about the three medalists here is the gold medalist is a lot bigger than the other two. This is Claudine Santos, 45-65 he threw in the discus for 897 points. Gets a kiss on either cheek. And you'll see what I mean when the, the Russian comes up, how much bigger he is than the man from Brazil and Azerbaijan. Gladini Santos with the bronze. 45-65 was his mark. Samir Nabayev took it for Azerbaijan, the silver. 45-77. Picked up their share of medals these games as well, but yet to win a gold. Now here is the big man among big men, Alexei Ashapadov. Championship record 58-39. He really is a giant and he's got the gold medal as well and he has the crowds really all the way down for him to receive his gold. I could see him going into the movies as some kind of James Bond villain. I could see him as a henchman because he is an absolute giant. Alexei Ashapatov set a championship record and well deserving of the anthem. It's a good one too. Very rousing, the Russian anthem. Still not used to those bells coming in at the end of the Russian anthem. I think that's a remix. Just sounds to me like a bell ringer trying to spoil the party. Alexei Ashikov of Russia. 